Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today we are making this gorgeous 12 Days of Christmas Advent Calendar. You can make this adorable Advent Calendar just for the last 12 days of Christmas so you're not too late. The written pattern also comes with this printout where you can just cut out these cute little presents that fit in to the last 12 days before Christmas. So a cute and easy little countdown if you don't want to put in sweets or little presents. You can just do an actual countdown included in the written pattern. Speaking of written patterns, all my patterns are available on my website, secretyarnery.com, and you don't have to worry about being able to read a pattern. All of my patterns are written in plain English, just like I was sitting there right beside you. If English isn't your first language, go ahead and click on this gear right here so you can scroll through and find your preferred dialect. All you need to make your advent calendar is four different colors of yarn. I am using, or any colors at all, you could make them all in one color if you preferred. I did it with four different colors, so three colors and a neutral, each stocking just featuring one different color for your center row, for row number two. But you could do them any which way you want. I am using size four worsted weight acrylic yarn, which is a 10 ply if you are in Australia, just regular acrylic. And I'm also using a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. I do all my Christmas projects with the green hook, so I know what color it is. It is a Christmas color green hook, but you could use a five millimeter or a six millimeter, whatever you have on hand. And you'll also need a needle for sewing in a couple ends, and a stitch marker is very handy plus one pair of scissors. Here are the timestamps. You can jump back into where you left off and let's get started. To start your 12 days of Christmas advent calendar, we're just gonna start by making a slip knot and a chain three. So make your slip knot and chain three. One, two, and three, and we're gonna go into that very first chain we made to form a ring. So right into that first chain, right on top of our slip knot. So just pop your hook in, it doesn't matter how many strands you have on the top of your hook, and then get a little U-shape going on underneath your hook. We wanna be holding that open with our finger and thumb, and we wanna be working over our tail. So just get your tail along with that U-shape, and hold it open with your finger and thumb. Slip stitch to form a ring and chain three. One, two, and three. So this counts as our first double crochet. Wrap your yarn and make one more double crochet right where you're holding it open with your finger and thumb. And then you can let go of it a little bit. That'll hold it open and chain two. One and two. Now into the center of that ring, going over your tail, two double crochets one and two, chain two, one and two, and two more double crochets into the center of your ring going over your tail. One and two, chain two, and two more double crochets. We want a total of six pairs. So there's two, chain two, one and two. Slide those stitches back if you need some more room and two more double crochets into the center of your ring. One and two. Chain two and we're gonna make our last two double crochets. So slide all those stitches back. We'll have five pairs right now. We wanna have a total of six pairs. Still working over our tail. Two more double crochets into the center of our ring. There is one and two. Chain two, and we're gonna slip stitch into the top of that chain three to join. We're gonna slip stitch right here. And we want two strands of that chain on the top of our hook, just like that. So slip stitch to join and chain one to secure your yarn. Cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. And that finishes round one. To start round two, we're just gonna be working in to our spaces. So just find a space that is not where our tail is. So I'm just gonna join into the space before 
Just pop your hook in, loop of your new color yarn on your hook, bring it through and slip stitch with both strands to join. Just check that your tail is long enough to sew in or not later. And chain two. One and two. This counts as our first double crochet. Wrap your yarn and into the same space. I'm just holding my tail along the edge of my work so I can work over it. We're gonna do two double crochets. One and two. Whenever you get to your tail, you can just bring your tail forward so we can work over it. And we're gonna do three treble crochets. So wrap your yarn twice and into the next space, three treble crochets. One. Two. And three. Chain two and three double crochets into the same space. There is one, two, and three. Now into each of the next four spaces. All of these spaces, we're gonna be doing the same thing. So three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets. So wrap your yarn, three double crochets. Chain two and three double crochets into that same space. One, two, and three. So we're going to do that into each of the next empty spaces. So each of those spaces, we're going to be doing the same thing. So three double crochets, one, two, three, chain two, and three double crochets into that same space. One, two, and three. So you can pause the video and do that into each of the next two spaces, three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets. And I will meet you when we get to this space where we started. into that space where we started. I'm just gonna slide those stitches ahead so I have some more chain to work on directly. I want all my stitches laying nice and flat side by side. We're gonna do three treble crochets. So wrap your yarn twice and three treble crochets into that same space where we started. There is one. Two. and three, chain two, one and two, and now we're gonna slip stitch into the top of that chain three to join. So we're gonna slip stitch right here. So two strands of that chain on the top of your hook and slip stitch to join. Chain one to secure your yarn, cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to knot or sew in later. Snug that down. And now we're gonna pop a stitch marker right into this space here. Just that center space, grab a stitch marker and pop your stitch marker in. That is gonna mark the top of our stocking or the top of our little booty. So there is our stitch marker right in that space right there. So that finishes round two. Don't worry if your booty is all kind of wavy, it is supposed to be. So just pop your hook into that very same space where we finished at the top of our stocking, right here. And loop of your next color on your hook. Bring it through and slip stitch with both strands to join and drop your tail and chain two. One and two. Make two more double crochets into this same space. One and two. 
Now into our center space where our stitch marker is, we're going to do four double crochets. So this is the top center of our stocking. So four double crochets into this space. There's two, three, and four. And into the corner space, we're going to do three double crochets, chain two, and three triple crochets. So three double crochets to start. One, two, and three. Chain two, and three treble crochets into the same space. There's two, and here is three. Into this space along the side, this flat side, we're going to do three double crochets. One, two, and three. And into our corner, into that corner space, we're going to do a bend. So bends are four double crochets. So four double crochets into this corner space. There is two, three, and four. Into the next space along the side, three double crochets. One, two, and three. And into the corner space, Right there, we're going to do a bend, so four double crochets into the corner space. One, two, three, and four. Into the space along the side, that flat side, three double crochets into this space. And remember, you can pause the video or use that gear to speed me up or slow me down. And into our corner, that corner space, we are going to be doing a bend, so four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Into the space along the side, right there, we're going to be doing a side, so three double crochets. One, two, and three. And into the corner, the corner space, four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Into the next space along the side, three double crochets. One, two, and three. And into the space where we started, three treble crochets. So wrap your yarn twice and three treble crochets into the very same space where we started. One, two, and three. Now into the top of our chain three, right here, we're going to do one double crochet into the top of the chain three. So same spot where we would be slip stitching. We want two strands of that chain on the top of our hook. We're going to make one double crochet. And that ends us right along the side of our stocking, just like that. So that finishes round three. But before we get going to the next round, to joining it, we want to turn it over we want to knot our tails. So our tails are pretty much in the same areas, these guys right there. So we're just going to knot them. So double knot. You, of course, can sew them in if you prefer. So I do 
a loose knot first, then a tighter one, and then the third time I really pull it. Sometimes if you pull it just after you've knotted it twice, it can shrink up. And then you can just cut those tails off really nice and close. So one loose knot, one more snug, and then the third time you really can pull it. If you're using a natural fiber, maybe so in your ends, can't pull it as much as you can pull acrylic. Just like that. So there's our tails done. Easier to do it now so we can see it nice and easier instead of having to inside out our tiny little stocking later. We can pop out our stitch marker as well. To start round four, you can see we have a little Levi's jeans pocket, a little pocket shape. We are going to fold that in half, just like that. Get a cute little booty and pull your hook up to get a bigger loop. We want to take our hook out for a second and we're going to turn it over. So our working yarn is at the back of our stocking. We're going to be working along this edge just to close up our stocking. So into this corner space at the top of our booty and into the corner space at the bottom of our boot, just like that. Get that loop of yarn back on your hook. Bring it through and slip stitch. So that starts our join. We have one little join now at the top of our stocking. At chain one. Now into this same corner space of both stockings, we're going to make one single crochet, chain three, one, two, three, and one more single crochet into that same corner space of both of our stockings right there. Now wiggle your finger in between the spaces or in between the space of both sides. So we have our three stitches before and we want to go in to the first stitch of each side. So there is the first stitch of the first side and the first stitch of the second side. One single crochet. And I just keep my finger through both so it keeps those stitches lined up. And now one single crochet into both stitches just to join them up along the side. Just like that and then wiggle your finger into the space after the next set of three and one single crochet into each pair. One, two, and three. Now at our bend, we are going to do one single crochet into the first pair. one single crochet into the second pair and chaining one. That's just going to give us a little space to get around our heel. And now one single crochet into each pair all the way along until we get to the toe. So just take your time, line up your stitches, one single crochet into each. When we get to this bend, Right here, we're going to do one single crochet into each of the first two pairs. So the first and the second each get a single crochet. Chain one to give us a little more space and now we can just finish off our stocking. One single crochet into each pair all the way along. Our last single crochet is right here. Chain one to secure your yarn. Cut your yarn. This one we're going to have to sew in, so leave it long enough to use a needle. Pull your hook up and your yarn through. Snug that down to secure and sew in this tail. There is your cute little stocking. So adorable. Go ahead and make 11 more. <music> all of your 12 stockings are finished, we are ready to assemble. If you are using different colors, 
then just go ahead and get them in an order that you like. To start assembling, we are going to do a chain 15. So make a slip knot any which way you normally do. Shrink that down and pop it onto your hook and chain 15. 1, 2, 3, 14, and 15. And now into that very first chain, we're just going to slip stitch to form a ring. This is where we're going to be hanging our bunting from. So there is our 15. And now chain 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Just kind of like this little looking glass or little lasso. Grab your first stocking. And this stocking is going to be on the right side if you're right-handed or the left side if you are left-handed. If it matters what colors are where or what you're starting with. This first stocking will be the end of your bunting if you are looking at your bunting like you're reading a book. So into that chain three space at the top of our stocking, just pop your hook in and make one single crochet. Chain eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Grab your next stocking, find that chain three space, Pop your hook in and one single crochet and chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Grab your next stocking and into that space at the top, that little loop we made, one single crochet to join and chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now you can pause the video and keep working along, joining all of your stockings in this same way. A chain eight and a single crochet into the loop to join. And I'll meet you when you are all joined up. of your stockings are joined, we are ready to do another little lasso or looking glass on the other side so we can hang both ends of our bunting. So chain eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Pop a stitch marker into that eighth chain. And chain 15. One, two, three, fourteen, and fifteen. Now we want to slip stitch right in to that stitch that has the stitch marker. So just pop your hook in. It doesn't matter how many strands on your hook. Pop your hook in and slip stitch. And chain one. Cut your yarn and pull your hook up and your yarn through. Snug that down to secure. Now we can pop our stitch marker out and sew in our two tails. If you enjoyed this tutorial, go ahead and check out that playlist right there. Stay hooked.